Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial for Lamar Ultimate. Today we're going to talk about the livery, the custom livery functionality uh, that is some sort of embedded into uh, team functionality. So if you're wondering about teams, in the top right corner you'll find a team functionalities tutorial for Lamar Ultimate. But today we're going to speak about liveries, how you do them, how you upload them, how you use them. Let's get going. Right, so to apply a custom livery, first of all, and this is the, probably the most important part, is that you have to be part of a team. Once again, the liveries, the custom liveries, is for team management or for team functionality only. So it is very important that you are part of a team and that this team then is running liveries. In my case, as you can see here on liveries, there is no custom livery yet. So how to get it done? First of all, we need to go into this support livery template folder, which I show you in a minute. But most importantly, for those of you that is uncertain on how to do a livery in the first place, click this link that will open you the creating custom livery FAQ on the Lamore Ultimate webpage. And here everything is explained in detail. Also, what is the region colors? What is the different layers? What do you need to, um, to do? What do you need to paint? What do you need to upload? And so on. Everything is pretty much done here in detail. However, I'm going to go through this real quick and show you the one or other thing that may or may not be uh, explained too well after all. So, all right, let's check. Um, how to get to the support livery templates. So when going to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, Lamont Ultimate, support and livery templates, you'll find um, all livery templates here. For me, it's a Photoshop data. However, you should also be able to open this with GIMP or any other freeware that allows you to do some designs. So in my case, I've taken the Ferrari 499P and asked some, uh, <laughs> some famous designer called Nicolini uh, for a design. So what he had to do is then when this is, this is the template, right? So here on the right hand side, you see the different layers, you see the mask, um, you see the region, which is explained further in the guide and wireframe. So this is where you um, well, that shall help you align your designs, your lines, your everything literally that goes into the car. So whenever someone is doing the magic with the skins, this is how it looks like in the end. This is my Ferrari skin. On this particular template, you see a couple of, uh, of more layers, a couple of more objects in that. This is the file or this is the final result that you have to save as a so-called... Um, TGA file, custom skin and the custom skin region. And that we will put into Lamont Ultimate now. So since we now do have our templates ready, we apply them to a new car and then this page opens here. So what we're going to do is we pick the hypercar, we pick the Ferrari that we just spoke about and we click confirm. Now what will open is going to be a showroom and here is the important part um, that you are checking this particular folder. So once again, you go into your Steam apps, common Lamar Ultimate user data, and there you find a folder called liveries. In that livery folder, nothing should be inside from the get go, or if anything, a custom skin TGA and a custom skin underscore region TGA, as has we seen before when showing the template folder. So this is the Ferrari in its absolute carbon fiber, completely naked, the mandatory stickers on it. There you go. So what you have to do is then, and I go back into this page, um, we're picking the Ferrari, we're taking the custom skin TGA and the custom skin region. We move them over here, then we go back into the game. And then we click reload and boom, there is the livery. So the last thing that you then need to do is you need to select material settings. As you can see, if we're looking, uh, if we're taking flakes or wrap, 
ever so slightly the paint is changing if this is matte and we put it to shiny yeah you see um the things are changing here on the car then the flake color we put that to medium and um the the livery or also like the the car chassis becomes a little bit more shiny and uh, for my expectations i put option two and medium this is just how uh, Nicolini has designed the car and said this is how the true colors are coming out best. So this is what we're going to do. Then you can toggle the UI so you can actually have a quick look onto your livery overall is everything is fine. And if that is the case, then you can literally upload this. So press escape, you click upload, then the file is going to be hopefully successfully uploaded to race control and applied to the default lineup of the team remember we said we need a team and a lineup to race the livery with so once the livery has been processed i will be sending a notification when it becomes available to be read right this is the entire magic in the livery size we still not find it right now because this takes a short moment till it is processed on the back end however what we're doing instead is we select the next livery to go out on our cars, which is the hypercar BMW. So we press confirm. Once again, the showroom loads, and it is particularly interesting because that showroom now loads the Ferrari template. And as you can see, this is pretty, pretty rigged, right? Pretty wrecked. So what we're going to do is once again, we go into this livery folder. This time we select the BMW V8, same naming, custom skin, custom skin underscore region TGA. You copy and replace. You go back into the game. Press the reload button. Boom. There you are. Correct. Livery is uploaded or is like loaded in. We go medium and now we go shiny, medium, medium, how Nicolini said we should do it. Upload, same message again, can leave it. Perfect. Into the liveries we go again, apply it to the new car. We have another one for the Lamborghini SC63. So in the meanwhile, while the showroom is loading, I already go desktop number two. I go up here, pick the Lumbo, put the same files, drag them over, copy and replace, go back to the game, reload, boom, there it is. Um, put the shiny things and oh, gorgeous like this. I was looking at that Lumbo designer was like, hell yeah, this looks absolutely spot on so nicolini there with a cracking job if you're interested um i will um note down nicolini's um discord eddie or nicolini's email address i will ask him out for it down in the video description so you guys can order your own livery as well if you are unable to paint it obviously if you if you're an artist and you know how what to do with the psds and with the templates and just simply go for it uh we have another one to apply which is going to be the gt3 and this time i have what do i have in the gt3s no not the gt3s it's actually the lmp2 car there we go here we go LMP2 we have, setting the materials, medium, and upload. Right, this is it for my team. However, I also run the Rafa team. So what we're going to do here is this time we go back. Uh, sorry, we go once again into the liveries. And then very important here on the top right, you have the Rafa or the teams that you're in. This time I go with Rafa esports team. There I create a new car, the hypercar. This time Yane is fancy of the Peugeot. So we're going into the game or into the showroom again. Once again, I go into my files. This time, however, I go into the folder with the team liveries, simply replace this, come back to it. 
desktop one. Yeah, wrong colors. However, if you reload, there is the correct one. We put the expected things, click upload, and here we go. So I'm going to do that as well again with another one because Yane and also the team, we have another GT3 livery, which will be the McLaren. The car we've won the Virtual Endurance Championship with on R Factor 2. Once again, we go into the folder. And this is the last time I'm doing it because you know you guys know how it works now, right? Into the game, reload, new liveries on material settings, and upload. I really want to emphasize that liveries and designs are protestable. So if you put something on a car that is not in agreement with the sporting code and the netiquette code of Studio 397, MSG and Le Mans Ultimate, then you can be harshly penalized up to a full lifetime ban that you may receive for your Steam ID, right? So really be careful, really be sensitive with what you have uploaded as liveries. Right. So the last step that you then need to do is in your livery area, in your team. Remember, you have uploaded liveries for different teams. You pick the livery that you want to raise, you assign it to the lineup, make sure it is assigned to your lineup or to the drivers you want to give the uh, livery to. And once that is done, click confirm. And from now on, people that are assigned to this lineup will be able to pick the car in the next race. So we're quickly doing that, going to the online. It is available for any daily race at the minute as well. For instance, here, the LMP2, if I would be signing up for this one, I can click register. And on the very bottom, in the very last position, sorry, 2024 is what I have the livery for. There you find your car with your logo, once again here with a shot. Here you select your number and then you simply click register. That works obviously for the LMP2. Um, in the hypercar one, quickly going for a hypercar one. Here we go. I would be able to on the 2024, and you see also that little that little logos down here that will indicate that for these cars you have liveries available. So for instance, for me. I actually got it twice because I have two lineups. The Lambo is available to select the number 10. So is the Ferrari. Right, guys, this is how it works. This is how it looks. If you have further questions, let me know down in the comments area below. Other than that, guys, if you've appreciated the video, if you've appreciated the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Ring the bell for more tutorials, streams and news. Until then, guys, I see you out on track in your own colors, on your own liveries, in your own designs. Thank you for watching. See you next time.